Hello 3GM, welcome to session three of our maths learning. We are looking at fractions and this is the lesson five for maths no problem. I would like you to use this diagram to recap what we've been, we have been learning in the last two lessons. In the focus task, there is some cake. The question asks how much of the cake is left? Before we work out how much is left, we need to find out how many parts there are to make a whole. We can see there are five pink pieces of cake and two white pieces of cake. So five add two is equal to, that's right, seven. The girl states, two pieces have already been eaten. I am taking another piece. Altogether, we have seven pieces. If the girl takes one more piece, we know that we will be left with four pieces. So our fraction will say four sevenths. Four out of seven left. Now reread the focus question and have a go at answering these. Read this aloud to yourself and then have a go at question two. Here's some practice questions for you to have a go at. Here is our journal work. The stem sentence states, when you subtract a fraction, the answer that is the numerator must be less than the largest numerator in the question. For example, in A, the largest number, the numerator is six. There's a six and a three. The largest number is six. So your numerator for your answer cannot be larger than six. Once you have got all your answers, remember to explain how you got the correct answer. How do you know? Is there any way you can check? You're doing a great job. I wonder whether you can subtract two ninths from eight ninths. Here is the worksheet from our workbook. I go at subtracting these fractions. Uh, for part two, I've helped you out for the first answer. So good luck. For your journal challenge, you need to create a mathematical story involving subtracting fractions. Use the sequencing bubbles to help you. Here's an example to give you an idea. I had a whole apple and cut it into eight equal pieces. A caterpillar ate two of the eight pieces. A worm ate five of the eight pieces. Can you see I've used a diagram to help explain this? In the last box, I have explained the sequence. I now have one eighth of the whole apple left. I know this because I started with eight eighths and a caterpillar ate two eighths. This left me with six eighths of the whole apple. A worm then ate a further fifth eighths. If I subtract five eighths from six eighths, this leaves me with one eighth. On the next slide, there are bubbles for you to use. You could even do this on a paper if you would like to. Just create your own story and use the fraction 